the run into this vintage has been mixed. Uh, very good early, wonderful season all the way through till probably the end till the start of December. And then the rain started and from the 1st of December till the middle of January, we had about 19 inches of rain. You walk outside a lot and look up in the sky and go, you rotten old so and so. <laughs> we got really lucky that when the rain stopped, uh, we had nice windy days, uh, warm weather without being too hot, and we've had probably three or four weeks of dry weather now, and everything sort of hung on and produced some great fruit. You just have to work around it. We did more hand picking probably in whites than we would normally have done. The pickers individually checked the bunches and then as they were tipped into the bins we had at most five people standing up on the bins and they picked up every bunch and they went over it again. Anyone can make a great wine and a great vintage, you know. If a vintage like 2014, if you didn't make a spectacular wine then wine making is probably the wrong game for you. But in the more challenging years, like 2016, uh, the people with the better dirt, the better vineyards, the people that spend more time and more resources during the year looking after their vineyards are the ones that have come through. So all of our focus all year is how do we get that plant, that vine, as healthy as possible. Well, there are 13 blocks in the valley over 100 years old on their own roots, and we their own or lease are seven of them. And I'm trying to get my hands on the rest, <laughs> but uh, uh, that's where we're lucky. This is this is here in the Barossa, uh, the two great repositories of original European vine material in the world. Our HVD Chardonnay, that we bottle on its own, uh, is the oldest block of Chardonnay on the planet. There's two for me. Uh, one is a block called Contour, and a little bit biased because that's my favourite. And this year it looks spectacular. That's um, the contour block was planted in the late 1960s, and is the you know the heart of our Vat 9 Shiraz. You know, it's the, the best block that goes into our best wine. So really excited about that. And then probably the Jono's Shiraz, which is a, a nice old vineyard down the bottom of the hill here, uh, planted in 1908. So that's just one little fermenter, one cask will mature it in. We just make about 3,000 bottles. That looks really good as well. But you can tell. When the bin's turned up outside, it's like, oh yeah, game on, this is pretty good. The whites are bloody cooked. They really are. I took Brian McWigan for a walk through all the Semillons yesterday, and, and he just kept shaking his head and saying, yeah, how good is this? So that's nice when you get one of your mates to do that locally. <music> 2016, I'd say, has been a, a trying vintage. Uh, but it's one where we've had to be flexible, we've had to be quick on our feet uh, and stick very clearly to what we wanted to achieve. There's been a cost to that and we've lost some fruit and it's been expensive to pick. But the end result that we've seen so far means that all of that's worth it. There will be some very, very good wine out of this year.